Greetings, and we're back with part yeah, five yeah. of the Mega Man 8 playthrough. This guy here is... An astronaut. As for me, you know who I am. Your favorite first generation lord and warlord of Waffles vs. Apollo Creed. Heading through this stage, which is... What the flip Ready. Sanders is up with your flower clocks? Okay! Astro main stage is extremely trippy. The first area is mostly vanishing platforms. I hope you notice the rotating polygon thing, whatever the hell it is. That's pretty much letting you know when the platforms appear and disappear. Onward is this little interesting little tidbit, which is more or less an eternal maze. Unless you can navigate this area completely, you're pretty much stuck in a loop forever. Many a time has been wasted here when I first played this. But of course, as time passes, you get to notice that certain patterns repeat itself, and the maze is now simple to go through. Of course, navigate the maze until you hit the next skull teleporter, and you reach the third area of this maze where you get an auto scrolling section that is, in a way, not auto scrolling. Well, the background does an auto scroll, but the tower is because it is sinking in some kind of gigantic quick sandish pothole. As you pretty much just on a near endless climb to the top. And once you reach the top, the thing will stop sinking. So, apparently, it's not bottomless. But, if you do wind up sinking too far down, you will die as the bottom does act as a pit. So, keep climbing, keep going, do not look down. And do not let your pants fall in the whole thing. I don't know what I'm getting at again, but... Over! And the second half is about to begin, where we pretty much restart the whole process. We're once again dealing with vanishing platforms, but this time, longer pitfalls. So now, hopping from platform to platform, is more of an issue because the longer you stay, if you don't reach the next platform, you will fall with less of a bottom platform for safe landing. And those clock flowers are weird. What would they smell like? No, really, what would they smell like? Would they smell like a Rolex? Could you tell if they're bootleg? Eh, forget it. And like I said, pretty much repeating the gimmick, you got another little maze type area. Where it's a li I don't know if I want to say it's larger, but I probably would say it's a little more complex. Kinda sorta. I think this one may be a little more straightforward, and eh, but that's more based on opinion. But pretty much, once again, find find a pattern, go through the area, and you're pretty much home free. Make sure you hit the proper switches for both maze areas to get to the skull teleporter, and now Astro Man. Projections. I come here, but I don't know what to do. Hello, the man is confused. And Astro Man, oh, scared you 
and my channel is all. But anyway, link to the homing sniper. If you get him in the loop, he will not do anything. As for his attacks, he will shoot his satellite in an elliptical motion, while most shadow lights will shoot little energy balls at you. And when you saw him flashing all over the place, that's the signal that he will use his trademark weapon, the Astro Crush, which is a full screen attack where clones of him will fall down on top of you for good damage. Other than the usual collision damage, that's all he got. And now, as for my version of Astro Crush, it is friggin' awesome. Meteors! You'll see, you'll see in a little bit. But for right now, back to the house to get an important item because it's backtracking time. Welcome I have to get the exit part, otherwise I'm going to have to go through the stage completely. Do not want to stay at a stage longer than I have to, obviously enough. So let's start our backtracking at Tingu Man. Of course, since I'm doing more or less 100%, I'm backtracking to collect bolts. And the bolt I missed for this area... Oh, hang on. Astro Crush Show Off! It's... That's so beautiful. It's pretty. Massive explosions with meteors. Pretty much near instant kill everything on the screen. And something else, this is how you would navigate the little bubble area in this spike filled room since I didn't do it the first time, since I used the Mega Ball to skip the entire segment. But anyway, as I'm saying, returning here for bolt collection, the bolt that I missed in this stage is actually in the second half. Where actually all the both sides miss in while backtracking are in the second half of these first four robot matches. By the way, notice how clean I'm destroying these enemies? Thank God for the laser shot. Imagine how. Well, I won't say annoying, but. How much more time consuming it is with using the regular buster, where I can just push through enemies in near one hit kill just about any enemy that comes my way. Oh, by the way, grabbing Eddie was an accident. More explosions! Thank you for doing it late! But seriously, now to f get to the second half so I can collect this bolt and get the crap out of here. For the bolt in this area that I missed, Ready. you will notice that there was an area inside the airship where there should be a bolt sign somewhere in the ceiling within the engine room of this little flying fortress. You'll see it in a little bit, but in order to open it, you gotta use the homing sniper to break down the boat compartment so the boat would drop down. Of course, at the time since I didn't have it, I couldn't access it. So, that's pretty much it there. Please, please look at that laser shot cut through those compartments like butter! The atypical hot knife like butter. But pretty much after that, that's pretty much gonna be it. Once I grab the boat, I'm gonna boat. Grab the boat, then boat. So destroy these things here. Wish this thing was in the. Oh wait, wait, get him, get him. Yeah, use the homing sniper, shoot the boat compartment, get the boat, and get the boat. Okay, now we're about to head to Clown Man and get the boat over there. Oh, I forgot. I missed the boat when I in the first area also. I need the rush cycle. Oh yes! Y'all finally get to see the rush cycle for the first time. Mega Man's about to be pimp riding. 
this go into the out of snake get the rush cycle in ride like the wind good long jumping ability I will probably give his does the rust missile strength probably equal to that of the normal busters maybe even sorta and jump off I think you just press up and jump in order to dismount the rush cycle but yeah I used the rush cycle to long jump to get that bolt in the beginning that I tried to get with the mega ball earlier so nothing much different here going through these bell activated platforms and now we're about to murder the mid boss but not with the mega ball no we want to get out of here quick so how do we kill this thing quick simple meteors aka humongous multiple balls to the face Space rocks, space balls to the face. It's gonna be an ongoing theme. Ready. But now, the bolt that I was initially going to get in the second area. If you notice, if you remember the first time I went to Cloud Man stage, I went on a rising platform that could. That Somewhere on the upper left corner was a barrel. That barrel could not be accessed early. In order to break it, I need the flame sword to get it. So, come back here. Slowly walk my way towards the rising platform. Jump on it. Gotta destroy this cannon and miss the platform completely. Uh, Georgia recording. You get to see me mess up. It's all fun and games until you screw up one way or another. And I get laughed at humiliatingly for it. Yeah, whatever. Grenade Man. We're gonna get his bolt now that I missed. Once again, the main bolt is in the second half. Ready. So, let's just sit back, enjoy the scenery, and continue the time mode tradition of... I hope y'all said it with me because I'm not saying it. Y'all should know by now. I do not need to repeat myself to you people every single time. I got a lot of things that are exploding, so what do I do, people? Y'all not saying it, so I might as well say it because I know y'all want me to say it. Blow shit up. That's what it's all about. And y'all know y'all wanted me to say it. So, of course, I gotta give the people what they want, even though what they want is me to fail. I'm gonna repeat myself a lot. But I, got, I gotta pass the time somehow. Y'all saw this before I. The only thing different is that I'm carving through the you get back. Uh, anyway, another mid boss. Got the Astro Crush again. At 2 plus 2. The thing's gonna die. Well, while I'm now thinking about it. The bolt that I missed for Grenade Man stage required, once again requires the Flame Sword. There's an area where a fuse is open, where three packs of dynamite, or whatever types of bombs they are, they need to be struck. And since there's no torch spot around, like I said, I need the Flame Sword to strike the fuse. And after that, that's pretty much how I get the bolt. And at that point, it's pretty much gonna be time for me to end it. So, might as well just let you know that after this, 
are going to be getting the final bolts in the first half of the first half of the Robot Masters, and we'll deal with the final Robot Master. And stay tuned next time for part six of the Mega Man 8 playthrough. And I'll see ya.